New Brunswick, Canada's picture province. Roughly square in shape, New Brunswick is bordered on the north by Quebec, on the east by the Atlantic Ocean, on the south by the Bay of Fundy, and on the west by the U.S. state of Maine. New Brunswick's southeast corner is connected to Nova Scotia at the isthmus of Chignecto. The Confederation Bridge connects New Brunswick to Prince Edward Island. It has a land area of 72,908 square kilometers, with more than 800,000 inhabitants in 2022. New Brunswick's largest city is Moncton, followed by St. John. Fredericton is the provincial capital city, which straddles the St. John River. New Brunswick was first inhabited by indigenous people, including the Mi'kmaq, Malizid, and Passamaquoddy. French explorer Jacques Cartier landed on New Brunswick's shores in 1534. In 1604, Samuel de Champlain reached the mouth of the St. John River, close to the present-day St. John City. Then, Acadia, the first New France colony, was founded. For the next 150 years, French settlers made their home in the present-day maritime region, including New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, parts of Quebec, and the U.S. state of Maine. Acadia developed a distinct history and culture while coexisting alongside the indigenous groups. After taking over Acadia from France in 1713, the British began expelling the Acadian in 1755, principally to Louisiana. Known as the Great Expulsion, up to 14,000 Acadians were forcefully deported. Following the Treaty of Paris signed in 1763, the area of New Brunswick became a part of the British colony of Nova Scotia. After the American Revolution, around 10,000 Loyalists fled the U.S. and settled in New Brunswick. In 1784, the colony of New Brunswick was officially created, separating it from the British colony of Nova Scotia. In the late 18th century, some Acadians were allowed to return and relied on farming, fishing, and forestry for their livelihoods. During the first half of the 19th century, New Brunswick prospered thanks to thriving woodworking and shipbuilding. Population increased rapidly as a result of large-scale immigration from Ireland and Scotland. In 1867, New Brunswick joined Nova Scotia, Quebec, and Ontario to become the founding four provinces of Confederation of Canada. Throughout the maritime region, the blue-white-red flag is seen on the outer walls of Acadian houses, as well as on many objects, such as hydro poles, lobster traps, and so on. The golden-colored Acadian star is prominently featured on a blue background. The Acadian star and the flag are symbols of family, home, and community. Acadian form one of the oldest and most important Francophone communities in Canada. In 1960, Louis-Joseph Robichaud became the first elected Acadian Premier of New Brunswick. New Brunswick's history and culture are truly distinct. In 1969, the provincial legislature passed the Official Languages Act, which established New Brunswick as the only officially bilingual province in Canada. Since then, New Brunswickers have the right to receive provincial government services 
in the official language of their choice. Forests cover more than six million hectares, or 83 percent of New Brunswick's land area, which is the highest percentage among all provinces in Canada. Forestry is New Brunswick's backbone industry, contributing about $1.5 billion to the provincial economy and providing over 22,000 jobs in communities and towns across the province. The pretty town of Nakawik, right beside St. John River, is the home of the world's largest axe at the height of 15 meters. Erected in 1991, this giant statue symbolizes the importance of the forest industry's past, present, and future to the community and the entire province. Today, forests are managed in a sustainable manner in support of First Nations, resource-dependent communities, mills, as well as the environment. To ensure leadership in forest research across the Atlantic region, the Canadian federal government has placed its Atlantic Forestry Centre in Fredericton. New Brunswick is a major potato producer. One third of the world's frozen French fries come from New Brunswick, mainly made by McCain Frozen Foods, which was founded in Florenceville in 1957. Known as the French fry capital of the world, the beautiful town of Florenceville, Bristol hosts the Potato World, a museum full of fun for kids. Based in New Brunswick, Fredericton, Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada's Potato Research Centre conducts first-class research and field trials in support of growing healthy potato crops. Fishery remains an important sector in New Brunswick. Many of the province's coastal communities rely on shellfish harvesting, particularly lobster fishing, as well as oyster fishing and mussel farming. Shediac is home of the world's largest lobster, the statue is 11 meters long and 5 meters tall, weighing as much as 90 tons. New Brunswick is a great culinary destination offering world-class seafood. When visiting this maritime province, stop at one of many fish markets and family restaurants to enjoy a freshly caught lobster and try steamed mussels or champagne poached oysters. There are compelling reasons why New Brunswick has been nicknamed Canada's Picture Province. The Bay of Fundy, inlet of the Atlantic Ocean between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, is famous for having the highest tides in the world, reaching up to 20 meters high. If you are pressed for time and can do only one thing during your visit in New Brunswick, make sure you visit the Hopewell Rocks, a group of rock towers standing 12 to 21 meters on the Bay of Fundy coast. These gigantic rocks are also called the flower pot rocks or simply the rocks. At low tide, Take a walk on the ocean floor and you will have a better appreciation of the power of the Bay of Fundy tides and the splendidness of the marine world. Several hours later, the same spot can only be accessed by kayak as the area will be completely submerged underwater. Flowing from northern Maine into New Brunswick, St. John River is the longest river in Atlantic Canada. Running south along the western sides of New Brunswick, the usually serene St. John River passes through Edmonston, Heartland, Fredericton, Oromocto, and a string of other pretty towns and villages, 
before emptying into the Bay of Fundy at St. John. The 390 meter long covered bridge of Heartland across the St. John River is the longest covered bridge in the world. <clears throat> Take a walk in the family-friendly Odell Park within the heart of Fredericton to admire the enchanting urban forest and listen to the distinctive calls of the black-capped chickadee, the provincial bird of New Brunswick, namely Chickadee Didi. Wherever you go in, in New Brunswick, you'll find yourself welcomed with open arms. You'll be amazed by New Brunswickers' festive spirit throughout the year and their joyful outlook on life. The brightly painted houses and colorful culture of the Acadia, indigenous people's affinity with the environment and beauties of nature, from scenic Shibagan to historic St. Andrews, and from the delightful village of Stanley to the bustling town of Sussex. The mighty Bay of Fundy, the salmon-rich rivers, lush forests, pristine beaches, as well as the friendly and cheerful people, the list goes on. All of these shed light on picturesque New Brunswick. Thank you for watching and listening. Please subscribe to this channel, Words of Woods.